Rob here from the Flanagan Homestead. If you saw my video on making the retaining walls uh, to make a terraced garden or raised bed gardens, uh, basically, uh, I'm just finishing up today. Got to go do a couple things. I got to put a rock in here that goes up the step, that matches the steps, so we can pour the soil here. If you look behind me here, I've got a lot of soil that we have taken. Uh, it's used potting soil from the horticulture class. You can see some of it's still in the shape of pots and everything. A lot of this soil is pretty spent, so we're going to need to uh, add some nutrients to it. But the nice thing is it's going to drain really well, unlike the clay that's out here. So anyway, let's get after it. All right, there's our used potting soil from the greenhouse thrown in the forms. Got to finish up a retaining wall rock here level this out and then we'll plant everything and the walls will be done trailer adds a nice uh, fulcrum on the axle to help lift these heavy rocks. One of these three rocks, along with some other smaller rocks, which then need to fill in the space between the post and the stairway rocks, similar to what this one did. So you can see it allowed us to fill up this whole garden bed and get started. And then here we used a series of rocks to level out this garden bed and get things going here. A little shovel work makes it so that the rock can fit in there and also has a lean back against the soil that will be pushing up against it. I did not measure that out. This is going to work out really good. I want to find a little bit bigger rock to fill in this space. We'll just use anything to fill in there. We're getting down to the very end of our uh, rock pile, so I don't have as many options to fill that in. This one's too big. I'm going to see if a sledgehammer can make this thing the right size.
think I got lucky on the brake. That's going to work well. All right, so now I'm simply going to fill in this cavity now that I have the rock to hold it up there. And then I'll be rototilling in some of the compost uh, that is basically wood chips and goat and chicken manure in there. It's already composted, it's broken down a little bit to add some nutrient to this uh, spent potting soil. One thing I don't know if I made it clear when I was building the walls is the top of the bottom wall needs to be higher than the base of the wall that's coming up here on the next level up. So when you fill it in with dirt, there's actually dirt pushing against it. Not that that amount of dirt on the bottom is going to hold a lot in, but you don't want the ground sloughing away and then wear away over time and then not in solid ground. You want to make sure that the ground uh, below the upper wall is not being worn away. So the same thing here. We ideally would have had more soil to fill this in a little bit higher, but still we have the garden. Then we have the bricks that we walk on, and those bricks are up against the concrete wall. It's not underneath the wall, it's up against it. So this dirt is not going to get worn away, and the anchors that are in the ground are not going to be compromised. Okay, this half of the, uh, this bed is going to be garden. This year, where this is where the used potting soil is. The back half is where I have composted for years. Uh, the, the manure in the back there is still pretty fresh, so I don't want to mix too much of that, but I have some stuff underneath there that is good to be using. And also, uh, you'll see me just start tilling up this potting soil, which is awfully soft as it is. And you're like, what's he doing? But there's a layer of year-old compost that's underneath there that I'm going to turn that up and get some of the nutrients out of that. Um, probably on the back half of this garden, I'll do a good hot compost like I do every summer. I've got a video on my channel from last summer's hot compost. Uh, get the compost up to 160 degrees. It'll break down in about eight weeks. Be ready to use. and. We'll already be gardening here, but then after I get done composting that, we'll pull that into this bed and till it in next year and have a lot more nutrients. So I'm gonna start tilling in some of the compost that's already there. reasons you don't have the real heavy really to it. So there you have it. The section right there was the last section to be finished on our retaining wall raised garden beds, which we did these on the left last year. You can see the existing strawberry patches, raspberries and blueberries above there. We've got vegetables over here and vegetables behind me you can't see on the camera. We just put the retaining rocks in here, filled the bed in with uh, used potting soil, amended it with composted goat and chicken manure. The steps up here were done last year. You simply start from the bottom, fill in with gravel behind until you build a strong base for the rock behind it. And then we let the strawberry runners grow out into the cracks. There's a fern there too that look decorative. Pull out the other weeds, but up through the blueberry bushes and on up to the house. Thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead where Christmas trees are my business, teaching including horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects like this one are my passion. I love doing this, but I am thankful that moving concrete and dirt up and down this hill are done. Please join us again for what's next on the Flanagan Homestead.